I'm here with a review of The Whispers of the Fallen and Rebellion, books one and two from The Whispers of the Fallen series by J.D. Netto. I was sent these books in exchange for an honest review and this entire review is going to be spoiler free. So if you haven't read these books, that's okay. You can still watch the video right until the end. There will be no spoilers. So let's get started with The Whispers of the Fallen. In this book we are following the main character Isaac and he and his friends worlds are completely overturned when they discover Lucifer's diary. They are then hunted by Nephilims and fallen stars which are I suppose fallen angels. You're thrown straight into the story from the get-go and it just continues on from there super fast paced. And although we mainly follow our main character Isaac throughout the story there is a point in the book where we switch points of view and take a look at one of the villains of the story. I really liked the concept of this story. You can definitely tell that there's a lot of history behind it all and I thought it was an interesting take on fallen angels. And I especially like the fact that this was in a medieval setting in a fantasy world. Most of, actually I think all of the fallen angel books that I have read have been in a modern setting and I think that having all of this happening in the kingdom of Elysium worked really well with the story. From what I can see of the characters I quite liked. Our main character Isaac I think he really stepped up to the role that was kind of forced upon him. Uh, he really takes it in his stride and you can definitely see him becoming more brave and courageous as the story progresses. One of the other characters I quite liked was Devon and I thought it was interesting seeing his internal struggles as he's kind of battling with who he is. I guess the person he wants to be, not what the universe is kind of telling him he is. So I thought that was quite interesting. Though I kind of wish that Isaac's best friend Dimitri had a bit more of a role towards the beginning of the story because he's absent for the majority of the book and these two are supposed to be really close friends and I didn't really get much of a sense of that so I think it would have been good to have him kind of more present at the start of the book so we could really see that friendship. Even though I liked what I saw of the characters and I think we do have quite an interesting array of personalities, I didn't develop a connection with any of them. I don't think there was enough time for them to be completely fleshed out. Because this book flies through the story we don't have much of an opportunity to really get to know all of the characters and develop that connection which I think is really important in a book. Which I think is quite a shame because I really want to be able to empathize with the main characters. Um, um, but they just fell a little bit flat for me. Now one of my main problems with the book was some of the aspects of the writing. I found that there was way too much telling instead of showing and this kind of made the writing feel a little bit stunted in terms of its flow. I just found that in situations where a person's reactions or feelings could have easily been depicted by their expressions, their body language or their actions, it was told instead. And in some cases both was done so we were kind of shown how a character was feeling and we understand how they're feeling but then it's also explained so that felt a little bit repetitive. The dialogue as well I found was too formal. I'm not sure if this was done in an attempt to kind of blend in with the setting but I'm not sure that it really worked. Uh, it kind of felt like these people were just acquaintances in a really professional situation but they're not. Some of these people are supposed to be close friends or developing really close relationships because they're in like such a high intensity situation but they were speaking in a manner that wasn't quite colloquial enough it just it didn't feel quite right. What I did like about the writing though were the descriptive sections where the setting is illustrated to us. What I see of Elysium I really like but I wanted more. There wasn't enough time spent really fleshing out the setting and we weren't able to get a really vivid sense of what the world was like. I think this is mainly due to the pacing as well because we absolutely fly through the story and there aren't any moments where it kind of slows down a little bit and we can just savour the surroundings and the setting of this world. I think that's also where I had my issue with the characters as well. Now moving on to Rebellion. In order to keep this spoiler free I'm not going to be going into the synopsis at all but if you have read The Whispers of the Fallen and you would like to know a little bit more about this I will leave a link down below to the Goodreads page so you can get an idea about what's going to happen in the second book but I can tell you that this one is still super fast paced and plenty more action is happening. So Rebellion definitely doesn't slow down and one thing that I noticed in terms of the plot progression which I think contributes to the pacing um, was something that I picked up on while reading Rebellion. In the sections where we're following Isaac there was this one thing that I noticed happening again and again. So our characters are traveling, they take a rest either uh, part way to their destination or when they are at their destination they are attacked and then they have to flee and then they set another point as their destination and this whole cycle repeats itself. A lot of the 
time this can happen between like a 24 to 48 hour period so there's that constant threat of their enemies literally being like one step behind them so that definitely kept the story going and that pace really fast but I don't know, for me at least, it felt slightly repetitive. That might just be me though, I'm not too sure. Um, maybe just because I wanted uh, the story to slow down a little bit and for our characters to take a breather. But it was just something I picked up on um, in this book that I noticed happening throughout the plot of both the first and the second books. Now, when it comes to characters in this one, at some points I got a little bit confused because we're introduced to so many faces, not only in The Whispers of the Fallen, but many new ones in Rebellion. And I found it a little difficult at some points to remember who they were. There are some characters we're also introduced to that are only kind of present for part of a scene or maybe one or two scenes and some of the time I felt like these were just devices to move the story along. They didn't have much of a role outside of uh, progressing the plot. One example of this would be when Isaac and his friends are traveling and all of a sudden they hear someone screaming in the distance asking for help. That seemed to happen a few times. However, one thing that I really liked in terms of the characters in this one was we are introduced to a particular character. His name is Arendelle and we don't meet him until nearing the end of the book it's not until later on in the book that we see him but he's fast becoming I think my favorite character I don't know what it is he just really his character just really resonates with me I think he's a really strong character and I like his morals and his ability to stand up for himself and his beliefs and this is the first character that I'm really developing a connection with uh, which is awesome so I really hope that he has a large role in book number three because I really want to see more of him I also want to note that I did have the same issues with the writing in Rebellion but I was able to dive into the story a little more just because um I knew what to expect from the writing I guess and I was kind of able to get used to it a little more. As for a rating I ended up giving The Whispers of the Fallen two stars and Rebellion three stars. If this sounds like something you guys might enjoy I will leave a link down below to where you can buy it from the book depository through my affiliate link uh, so you can pick it up from there with free shipping. If you've read either of these books I'd love to know what you thought about them down in the comment section below and yes I will see you guys next time. Bye!